Namaste, it's Evelina here. Welcome to this yoga class for beginners. Even if you never ever practiced yoga before, this class is suitable for you. We will bring awareness to the way we breathe and try to connect our breath together with the movement. So that's what we will concentrate mostly on developing the breath awareness and becoming more aware of our body and of the movements which we are doing. So first of all, I would like to invite you to sit upright in any comfortable for you posture, keeping your spine straight. So it might be with the crossed legs, but if that's not comfortable for you, you can also just bend your legs, keeping them in that position, for example. Maybe you need some support. So you may sit close to the wall, resting your back on the wall but remember to keep your spine straight. Another option here might be taking a cushion and sitting on the cushion. So it will help you to elevate your hips and to keep your spine straight. So as you can see now, my lower back is straight. You use it in this situation if you know that your spine is curving from the very base. And just sitting in any comfortable for yourself. Posture might be in that way maybe with the crossed legs, whatever works for you. And taking a little moment to connect to your breath. So we'll try to deepen and slow our breath. We'll be all the time breathing through the nose, lengthening the breath and keeping it calm and steady. So I would like to invite you to close your eyes now and just bring the awareness to the way you breathe. Taking one inhale and exhale completely through your nose. Releasing any tensions from your facial muscles, from your shoulders, back, belly and hips. And now let's begin lengthening the breath, making it slower and deeper. Slow and deep inhale. and slow and gentle exhale with control. Slow and deep inhale. And slow and gentle exhale. One more time, slow and deep inhale. And gentle exhale. Now I want you to feel how with every inhalation your belly is expanding together with your rib cage and your chest. So everything is really fulfilling with the air. And with exhalation feel how your chest is dropping back in, your ribs and your belly. So it's really full breath, deep inhale, expanding and complete exhale, dropping everything back in. Complete exhale, slowly allowing everything to come back in. And one more inhale. And exhale. Gently opening your eyes. I will introduce you to one type of breathing, which is very balancing and tranquilizing, is called Ujjayi breath. So in Ujjayi breathing, we are breathing all the time through the nose, although we are generating a gentle sound coming from the throat. So you can imagine a sound of the ocean, and that's the kind of sound which we want to create coming from the throat. So it's slow and steady, deep breathing through the nose with the sound from the throat. I will present it for you first. So deep inhale. And complete exhale. Again, if you're not sure if you're doing it correctly, you can try it out first with your mouth open. So just breathing out from your mouth with the sun. 
And now try to do the same thing with your mouth closed. All right, I hope we all got it. So we'll try to practice that for five times. Closing your eyes. Releasing all the tensions. And five deep ujjayi breaths. Slow and steady inhale through the nose with the sound from the throat. And gentle controlled exhale. Allowing gentle sound come from the throat. Inhale. Exhale. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Slow and steady. In. And out. And last breath in. And last breath out. Taking a little moment in here. Bringing awareness to the reason which stands behind your practice today. Just simply bring to your awareness why are you practicing in here today? Is it to work on your health? Is it to improve your body posture, your flexibility, strength? Maybe to find more tranquility and peace in your life? To allow yourself to slow down? For any different reason, just bring it to your mind. Taking a deep inhale, lengthening your spine. And exhale, slowly opening your eyes. All right, let's begin. I would like you to be really aware of your posture. So keeping your spine all the time straight. Imagine like someone will be pulling you up from top of your head, lengthening all your spine. However, you don't want to keep it erect in uncomfortable way. So just relax at the same time. And let's begin with warm up of our neck. Inhale, raising your head up in a circular movement. And exhale, gently dropping it down. One more inhale. And exhale, changing direction. Inhale up, exhale down. One more inhale, and exhale. Inhale back to the center. Now rolling your shoulders, so inhale, rising your hands up. Exhale, shoulder blades close to each other. One more inhale, rising up, raising up. And exhale, changing the direction. Inhale, opening your chest, and exhale, sucking your body in, rounding your spine, and bringing your elbows together. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Interlock your fingers, and inhale, stretching up. Exhale, bringing your head to the back. Fingertips behind you. Inhale, opening your chest. And exhale, releasing and gently folding forward. So walking your hands to the front. Inhale, straightening your spine. So maybe you are just somewhere in here. It's totally okay. Just really work on straightening your spine from here. And exhale, sinking a little deeper. And then releasing your spine wherever you are. Taking one breath here in. And breathing out. Inhale, slowly come back up. And straighten the legs in front of you. And keep your feet open, more or less. Keep apart, maybe gently bending your knees, but keeping your toes pointing up. Your glutes roll to the back, sitting on the sitting bones. So we'll just do a little twist in here. So inhale when you are up. And exhale with the fingertips to the floor, gently bringing chest over the floor. 
Inhale up. And exhale the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, please. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to the center. Let's sit upright. Sitting on your knees. Your big toes are touching each other. And your glutes are on your heels. Inhale, raising your hands up, gazing up, belly sucked in, spine lengthened. And exhale, twisting to the left side. In here, with every inhalation, you want to lengthen your spine again, like someone will be pulling you up, lengthening, sitting upright. And exhale, keeping your belly gently in, twisting a little more. One more breath here, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist a little more. And inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, twisting to the other side. Again, inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, twist a little deeper. Remember, you're twisting, keeping your neck neutral. So you don't want to be twisting only your head. All the spine is twisting. Neck is neutral. Last breath in here. And inhale, coming back to the center, hands up. Exhale, dropping your left palm down and opening your chest. So if you really want to roll your chest up towards the ceiling, lengthening the right arm, reaching fingertips as far as you can. And at the same time, grounding your right heel down so you don't want to be raising your hip up in here. Inhale back to the center. And exhale, switching your side, walking your right palm to the side, opening your chest up towards the ceiling. Grounding your left hip and reaching your left fingers as far as possible. Inhale, back to the center. Reaching up. And exhale, shoulder blades closer towards each other. Perfect. Let's just roll our wrists a couple of times. Another direction. And moving to the palms and knees. So in here, we really want to be aware of our wrists. You don't want to force them. What happens very often for the beginners is that they are putting too much pressure over the wrist. So as you can see now, all the pressure is going through my wrist. And I'm not pressing my knuckles, neither my fingers to the floor. And this is really dangerous for the wrist. So what you want to do is to spread your fingers wide and press all the surface of the palm to the floor, to the mat. So pressing your palms, your wrists, right under the shoulders. You don't want to open them too wide, neither too close. Palms under the shoulders, fingers wide open, and pressing your wrists, your knuckles, and your fingers firmly to your mat. Now, spine is straight, and you want to place your knees right underneath your hips. And ankles open at the same distance. If you're not sure if you have a correct distance in here, you may just Open your knees in the hip distance and then place your elbows touching, lengthening your arms. And from here, walking one more palm to the front. So you have two options. Then with inhalation, we want to raise our tailbone up. Vertebra by vertebra, feel how all your spine is curving all the way to the top of the head. And exhale, tapping your tailbone back down. And vertebra by vertebra, all the spine is curving. Step down is the last one. Inhale, tailbone up. Vertebra by vertebra, all the spine is opening. And exhale, tailbone down. Vertebra by vertebra, all the spine is curving. Keep your body movement connected with your breath. Inhale slowly and deeply. You may use Ujjayi breath, which you were introduced to before. Exhale, gently tailbone down and all the spine. Ujjayi breathing, deep inhale with a gentle sound coming from the throat. And complete exhale also with a gentle sound. Inhale, come back to the center. And in here, I just want you to suck your belly in and push yourself away from the mat. Let's hold that for three. And one, release, and 
your toes in. And exhale, we're we'll going to downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, the main aim is lengthening of the spine. If you know that if you straighten your legs, your spine is curving into this position, that means that you need to just gently bend your knees, roll the shoulders away from the ears, and really lengthen your spine. So we don't want to be curving it. Stay here for a couple of breaths. If that's possible, maybe walking one heel at a time towards the mat, straightening one leg at a time, and whatever works for you. Maybe staying all the time with your legs bent, and maybe straightening them and bringing your heels towards the mat. Rolling your shoulders away from the ears, and gazing in the direction of your navel. Tailbone pulling up. One more deep inhale. And complete exhale. Inhale, bringing your body weight to the front, to the plank. And exhale, drop your knees down. Now your chest in one leg with your palms and chin. Belly suck in, elbows close to the body. Inhale, laying down on your belly, changing position of your feet. Just raising your chest a little bit up. And then pushing up all the way, upward facing dog. Exhale, keeping your belly suck in, rolling back to downward facing dog. Let's try it out one more time. Inhale, body weight to the front, to the plank. So in here, all your body is in one line. Palms underneath the shoulders. Belly suck in, all the body straight. If that's too difficult, you may do it all the time on your knees. So in here, still all that. Body in one line, so your shoulders, your hips, and your knees are aligned. Exhale, drop your chest in one line with your palms, your chin to the floor, elbows close to the body. Inhale, slide forward, change position of your feet, all the way up to upward facing dog. Belly suck in, chest open, arms straight. And exhale into downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, body to the front, to the plank. Any version you're practicing, just let's hold it now for three breaths. Inhale, belly suck in. You don't want to be dropping your hips in here, either bringing them too much up. Hold the body in one line. Maybe on the knees. And one more breath. Inhale. And exhale, dropping your knees down. Just in one line with your palms and chin. Let's stay here for three breaths, squeezing your elbows closer to the body, keeping your belly bottom in. Breathing deeply. And inhale, lower into the front. Maybe position of your feet. Maybe just stay here in the cobra. Maybe baby cobra. Maybe a little higher, or just comfortable going to upward facing dog, bringing your legs up. Then you suck in. Two more breaths in here. Remember to spread your fingers wide and attach all the surface of the palm to the floor. Inhale. And exhale, rolling over the crack, bringing your butt up into downward facing dog. Then you can stay here for three breaths. Deep Ujjayi breathing. You may keep your knees bent. Remember of your options. Remember to be lengthening the spine. And the last inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look to the front. Exhale, step walking to the front, slowly, slowly, until your feet will reach in between your palms. Maybe your knees are bent in here. Inhale, straighten your spine, open your chest, and exhale, holding people down. Now opening your feet, hip apart. Your feet are parallel to each other, so ensure your heels are not too much closed or too much open. Holding onto opposite elbows, maybe gently bending your knees if you need. Try to not hyperextend your knees in here, so they can be just micro bent or bend even more if you need. Just releasing your spine completely by sliding side to side with a deep and steady breathing. And 
and then slowing down, allowing your body to stop, leaving your arms. Let's stay here for one breath, belly gently suck in, your tailbone pulling up, your chest is open as much as possible, maybe your knees are bent, but you don't want to curve your spine too much in here. So just try to bend and move your spine, maybe by bending your knees. And with your next inhalation, your spine is completely released now, start rolling up vertebra by vertebra. Bringing your full awareness first to your lower back. Very slowly taking your time without rush. Full awareness to your middle back. To your upper back. We don't want to rush in here because we just really want to feel our spine. Understand what is happening inside it. And inhale, your head up is the last one. Great. We'll start with Tadasana, which is a mountain pose. So we really want to work out that foundation perfectly. If we don't have the strong base, then all the postures will be not correct. So I really would like you to bring a lot of awareness to the, ones, to, to the way how you are actually standing. So in Tadasana, you may keep your feet together, if that's comfortable for you, or gently separate it. However, you don't want to open them more than hip apart. So maximum hip apart, parallel towards each other. So you can imagine the lines in between your second and third toes going up towards your ankles. And those two lines should be parallel to each other. From here, you really want to grant four corners of your feet. One, two, three, and four. Firmly grounded. Observe now what's happening with your feet. Maybe they are collapsing inside. If that part, the inner arches are collapsing inside, just really work on lifting the inner arches, but still attaching that four corners of your feet to the floor. Now, if we have the feet position already correct, let's move higher. So to your knees. You don't want to be hyper flexing your knees. So this is hyper extension. You don't want to allow that because all the tension is going down to your knee joint so just gently micro bending your knees by engaging your thigh muscles so you really want to keep that quad strong and engaged lifting the kneecaps up and keeping your knees gently micro bent now awareness to your pelvic floor squeezing the muscles of your pelvic floor and sucking your belly deeply in so your tailbone in here should be directed down the table is right here, just allow it to direct straight down, depending on your body posture. Maybe if your body posture is in that way, then you will need to suck it in a little bit. Maybe if your body posture is in that way, then you need to stick it a little bit to the back. So ensure it's really pointing down. Strong belly, suck in, chest open, shoulders rolled back, and down in the neutral posture. And now in here, just closing your eyes for two breaths. Deep inhale. And complete exhale. Really feeling your body from the base, from your feet, all the way up. Keeping your spine lengthened all the way up to the top of your head. And one more breath. Gently opening your eyes. Keeping that foundation, we will move to practice of some salutation. So standing in the top of your mat, in the posture which we just practiced, Tadasana. So feet together or gently separated, four corners grounded, thighs engaged, belly in, pelvic floor muscles engaged, chest open. And inhale, rising your hands up, raising up, lengthening all your body. Exhale, keeping your body gently in, slowly folding forward, maybe bending your knees in here if you need. Releasing your head down. Inhale, straightening up, all the way up until your spine is completely straight. So you may be touching the floor, however, maybe your hands are just supporting somewhere on the shins. It's totally all right. And exhale, stepping your right leg back. Inhale, left leg back. All the body in one line. Exhale, 
knees, chest in one line with the palms and chin to the floor. Inhale, low roll to the front, to cobra. You may stay here or roll up to upward facing dog, whatever feels good for your back. Exhale, roll into downward facing dog. Inhale, bringing your right foot in between the palms. So if you cannot step it straight in between the palms, you may just walk it a little bit in a couple of steps, straight into the front. Exhale, left foot between the palms, between the right one, falling down. Inhale, coming back up all the way. And exhale, back to Tadasana. Let's try the other side. Again, grounding four corners. Ensure that your knees are gently micro bent, thighs engaged, pelvic floor lifted, belly in, and open chest. Slowly inhale, rising your hands up, raising up, and exhale, holding down all the way. Inhale, head up, straight spine. Exhale, palms on the floor, fingers wide open, and stepping your right left leg to the back. Inhale, right leg to the back, into the plank. Exhale, drop your knees, chest in one line with your palms, and chin to the floor. Inhale, slide into the front, maybe just standing cobra, or maybe going all the way up to upward facing dog. Exhale, into downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your left foot between the palms, maybe walking your way if you need. And exhale, your right foot hitting the left, folding down. Inhale, going up all the way. Exhale, releasing your hands. One more round on the each side. Inhale, hands out, gazing up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, head up straight spine. Exhale, right leg back. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot between the palms. Exhale, left foot folding down. Inhale, going up all the way, and exhale, back to Tadasana, the other side. Inhale, hands up, gazing up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left leg back. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg between the palms. Exhale, right leg between the palms, holding down. Inhale, going up all the way. And exhale, back to Tadasana. Good job. Let's move to a couple of standing postures. Inhale, raising your hands up, and exhale, falling forward. Inhale, halfway up, and exhale. This time you can walk both legs or jump back, lowering your knees, step and chin to the floor. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, inhale, rising your right leg up, and exhale, bringing it in between your palms. So ensure that your foot is really in between the palms, facing straight to the front. Now we will lower the back leg into the floor, 45 degrees. Maybe maintaining a little corridor between your legs, so just moving your left foot a little towards the edge of your mat. Keeping your knee just above the ankle. Inhale, rising up into warrior one. Stay here. Five breaths. One, ensuring that the knee is above the ankle, back leg strong. Two, breathing deeply, gazing up towards your thumbs. Three, maybe just being somewhere halfway. 
four, maybe your elbows are bent into 90 degree angle if that's more comfortable. And five. Exhale, releasing your palms back underneath the shoulders. And knees to chin. Inhale, cobra. Maybe upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rising your left leg up. And exhale, bringing it in between your palms. Again, lowering the back heel to the floor. Maybe maintaining little corridor. So walking your right foot to the edge of the mat, leaving the space for your hips. Ensure that your left knee is above the ankle so you don't want to bend it too much to the front. And inhale, rising up, raising up. Going for any of your options, maybe with your elbows, 90 degrees. One. Deep Ujjayi breathing, strong legs, strong core, and hips square. Three, four, and five. Exhale, palms underneath the shoulders, and going down to knees, just chin. Inhale, cobra. Upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. And now again, inhale, rising your right leg up. And exhale, sending it again between the palms, the same position of your legs. Now we'll go to the twisted version. I'm just going to turn so you can see it better. So the same position with your how much you had before. Maybe just maintaining this little corridor. So moving your left foot to the left side of the mat. And now inhale, right take your hands up. And exhale, you want to twist in here. So bringing your elbow to the outside of your right thigh and holding your palms together in Namaste, just twisting back. One, deep Ujjayi breathing. Two, three, back leg strong. Four, twisting back. And five. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, palms underneath the shoulders and lower down into this chest and chin. Inhale through cobra, to upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, I take your left leg up. And exhale, bring it in between the palms. Adjusting the back foot 45 degrees. Maintaining little corridor if needed. Knee above the ankle. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, twisting to the left side this time. So you want to really minimize the distance between your ribcage and the thigh. One, deep Ujjayi breathing. Two, twisting back, holding back leg strong. Three, four, not collapsing down, and five. Inhale, coming back up, and exhale, palms underneath the shoulders, and lowering down into knees, chest, and chin, elbows close to the body. Inhale, cobra. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And now this time we'll try to make a little step or jump if possible to the front. If jump doesn't work for you, you may just take one leg and then the other. We'll move to Malasana. So for here, opening your legs more than your hips. So your Toes should be directed in 45 degrees and they should be more or less on the edge of your mat. If you cannot balance well in that squat, you may just take a block and just simply sitting on your block. So foot, feet 45 degrees, straight spine. Maybe using the block. Bringing your elbows inside and inhale, opening your chest, straightening your spine more. If you would like to get even more of that opening, 
You may take the block and place it in between your palms. Deep inhale and complete exhale. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale, and let the in and exhale. Stay here. With the next inhalation, we will land in the spine and opening the chest. And exhale, rolling your spine, bending your knees closer towards each other and lowering your back. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, turn your back. One more time, inhale, open your chest. And exhale, turn your back gently. And from here, slowly sitting down. Very good job. Let's snap with our legs straight. So again, if you know that your spine is curling in that position, sitting on the cushion to elevate your hips. And we really want to roll our glutes to the back to be sitting on our sitting bones. Option one for that would be just simply sitting next to the wall. So sitting with your back on the wall, rolling your glutes in here to the back, and you really want to ensure that that lower part of your back is touching the wall. Maybe then keeping your knees bent, but remember to keep your toes up if you are in the situation with the wall behind you. Otherwise, taking a cushion and sitting up on your cushion. From here, you want to slide a little bit forward, so it helps you to really roll your hips to the back. Maybe keeping your knees all the time bent, because we really want to land in the spine. Toes pointing up. If that's accessible for you, doing it with the legs straight, spine straight, and maybe without the cushion. Any option we are using today, it's good. Maybe staying in here and inhale, lengthening your spine, opening the chest. If you know that your spine is curving when you go down, just stay in here and work on the straight posture. If you feel that your flexibility today allows you to go down, just start going down a little bit deeper. So you don't want to be going down in here in that way. You don't want to be bringing your head towards the knees. You want really to work on rolling of your hips to the back and bringing your rib cage closer to the thighs. So that is the first part which will be touching. Rib cage and the thighs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, think of the rib cage coming to the thighs. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, lengthen the spine wherever you are. Exhale, rip cage to the thighs. And last time, inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, rip cage to the thighs. Releasing your head down. And staying wherever you are. Three breaths. Two breaths. And last breath. Inhale, if you feel it wrong. Exhale in here. And inhale slowly, slowly coming back up all the way. Now inhale, open your chest. Rising your chest up, giving it a nice opening. And exhale, relax. Beautiful. All right. Now, bending your right knee first. And giving a little space between your inner foot and inner thigh. Again, you want to ensure that your glutes are rolled to the back, so maybe still sitting on your cushion. Inhale, rising your left arm up. And exhale, sucking your belly in, twisting to the side. Hooking your upper arm on, your out, on the outside of your thigh. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, twisting to the back. Your right hand is behind you just in the middle of your back. One more inhale. Exhale. Again, remember every inhale lengthening. Every exhale twisting deeper. Ensure that your shoulders are above the hips, so you're not leaning to the back, not falling backward. And inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, releasing the legs and changing the sides. 
So bend with your left leg, leaving the space between the inner foot and inner thigh. Ensuring that you're sitting on the sitting bones. Maybe support it with the hand behind you. Inhale, I think you're right. And up, lengthening. And exhale, I think you're belly in. Twisting and trying to minimize the distance between wrist and thigh. So you don't want to just twist from here. You really want to suck your belly in and come as close as you can. And from here, straighten your spine. Pushing with the left leg to the left side so you can twist a little deeper. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale, twisting. Right leg engaged, not pulling a seat. Deep inhale. And complete exhale. Twists are very beneficial for your spine and also for your digestive system. Because all your inner organs are now being massaged and all the blood is flowing in there. Inhale, coming back to the center. And exhale, releasing your legs. Straightening your back. Inhale, opening your chest. Exhale, relaxing. Great job. Now we'll bring our left leg to the long edge of the mat. So in here we really want to open our hips as much as possible. Hips open, glutes roll to the back, toes pointing up. Knee might be bent if you need, if you know that your spine is curling, then just bending your knees. Again, maybe using the cushion. And from here we will lean to the side because we want to stretch the side of the body. Inhale, opening the chest. And exhale, leaning down your elbow on the inner thigh or just somewhere in here, but on the inside of your leg. So it gives you more opening towards the sky. Inhale. And exhale, folding a little deeper. Wherever you are, maybe just taking here, maybe holding onto your toe, and inhale, rising your left arm up. Exhale, lengthening, opening the side of the body. So you don't want to be really falling down to hold your foot. You really want to work more on opening of your chest or ribs towards the sky. Lengthening the side of the body. Thank you for two more breaths. Wherever you are, just working on the fall thing. And last breath. Inhale, coming back up all the way. And exhale, switching the sides. So open your left leg to the side. Again, let's show your glutes are going back. Hips are open as much as possible. Toes pointing up. You might be gently bent if you need. Inhale, open the chest. Arms on the inside, exhale, falling down as much as comfortable without curving. Inhale, opening, raising the right arm up, and exhale, leaning down as much as comfortable. Maybe running all the way and then opening your chest. Well, but that's not necessary, you just be somewhere in here, feel where your body is for today, and just allow it to open step by step. Two more deep inhales. Complete exhale. Then you're reaching the fingers far away. Deep inhale, ujjayi breathing. And complete exhale, keeping your hips grounded. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, breathing down. Great job. Let's move to laying on the belly. Or just simply making your way down and taking a warm moment of rest, pressing your forehead down to the floor, taking a breath in and breathing out. And now I just want you to rise onto your toes and to bring your heel back, then straighten the leg, point the toes to the other side, heel back. Straighten the leg and point the toes so it creates more space. You can really bring your legs a little lower, lengthening for your body. Your feet keep apart, palms next to your chest, on the sides and elbows close to the body. And from here, just inhale, raising your head and your chest up. You don't want to be raising your head too much. Keep your neck neutral and to relax. Just breathing in here, five breaths. Deep inhale, 
come with exhale, keeping your thighs engaged, keeping your belly sucked in, and really opening your chest. In here, you're not really pushing with your palms, your palms are gently supporting you down. Deep inhale, count with exhale. Let's take a few more breaths. Inhale, exhale. Anytime is too much, you may always rest. Inhale, and exhale slowly, keeping your body sucked in with control, lowering down. Deep inhale, and come to the exhale. Now, bend your knees, holding onto your ankles. Maybe just stay in here. Or maybe if that's even not comfortable, not accessible, you may go one more time to the cobra pose. If it's comfortable to hold onto the ankles, Sucking your body in, keeping your knees no more open but hip apart. And with your next inhalation, rising your thighs up first, and then your chest and head. Three breaths, inhale, exhale. Then you suck in, inhale, exhale. One last breath in. And exhale slowly, lowering down. Release your legs, pull back to the floor. And just taking a little rest in here. Sucking your body in and rolling your pelvis down to the floor. Do you really want to press the pubic, pubic bone towards the floor? Releasing all the tensions from your lower back. Squeezing your glutes a little bit in here. And then exhale, release. Okay, pushing yourself a little up. We'll just rest in the child pose. So bringing your toes together, your knees gently separated in here for now. And just walking down with your belly, laying your body in between the thighs. So what you want to avoid here, you don't want to be riding your butt up. If you cannot put your forehead down on the floor, you may use blocks, cushions, whatever is comfortable, accessible for you, but ensure that your hips are grounded on your heels and then your forehead down with any adjustment you need, maybe with the pillow and the block, maybe two blocks, whatever works for you. Or maybe without the block. And just relaxing in here for a couple of breaths. Slow and steady inhale. And slow and gentle exhale. Two more breaths in and out. One more breath in and out. And you very slowly coming back up to sleep. Moving to the front of the mat, and from here we want to bring our calves to the outside. So, and then sit in between your heels. If that's not comfortable, maybe just taking a block and sitting in here on the block. If that was quite simple for you, maybe lowering down a little bit to your palms. Again, I'm showing you a couple of different options. So whatever works for you, just stay with the option which is comfortable today. If possible, squeezing your butt a little bit and lowering down towards your elbows. If that's possible, still, then maybe lowering down all the way and laying down your butt. Maybe also bringing your hands back. Just stay here for a couple of breaths. Any position you've got for today, it's all right. Just allow your body to open day by day, step by step. Holding your body gently sucked in and squeezing also your glutes in here. Supporting with that your lower back and also giving more stretch to the front part of your thighs. 
on your next inhalation, bringing your hands down to the sides, holding your body stuck in, coming back up to your elbows, then to your palms, and then all the way up to sit it. Then gently moving your legs to the front, giving a little massage to your knees, just giving them a little release to your thighs. And making your way down to lay on the mat. Laying down, all the body completely straight. And just taking one deep inhale in here. And complete exhale. Bending your knees and bringing them close to the chest. Giving a little massage to yourself, rolling from the left to the right. Up and down. And now bring your knees close to the body and then slowly rolling to the left side and keeping your right arm in 90 degree angle, just laying it down the floor. So maybe your legs will rise in here, it's okay. But ground your right shoulder blade down on the floor. Gazing to the right side, left palm supporting on your right outer thigh. Deep breathing and inhale, come back to the center. Again, hugging your knees to the chest and exhale, dropping them to the side. Opening your left arm in 90 degree angle and grounding your left shoulder blade on the floor. Breathing here deeply. And baby to the left side. Breathe into your lower back. Last breath. And inhale, come back to the center. Little massage. And exhale, you your legs down. From here, we will move to Sharbangasana, which is shoulder stand. So for the first version, you may just use the pillow, or even without the pillow, simply inhale, rising your legs up, just staying in here for the first option. It already helps to bring the blood down towards the upper body. So maybe just staying in here in this very simple, very basic inversion version, inversion version. Or maybe bringing the pillow underneath your butt and raising it a little higher. That's nice and easy. If you want to go for the full version, then bringing your elbows closer to your body, squeezing them closer. And then supporting your back with your hands, walking up and straightening your body all the way up. If you feel that your elbows are opening in here, then just bend with your knees and bring them closer to the body, closer towards each other. From here, straightening your legs into one straight line. Not moving your head in the shoulder stand, keeping your neck safe. Squeezing your shoulder blades also a little towards each other, so then your neck is not collapsing in here, and you're not kind of choking. Let's take for three more breaths in and out, wherever you are, two more breaths, and shoulder stands, walking your palms or your shoulder blades, instead of keeping them on the lower back, and last inhale, and an exhalation, we lower the legs behind the back, is that accessible to Halasana, however, you don't need to do it if you're just with your legs up in the first or second option, it's totally okay to stay there. If that's accessible, staying in here, otherwise bringing your feet all the way down. If your feet are touching the floor, then maybe pointing your toes. And if you are comfortable in here, then you may release your palms from the lower back, interlocking your fingers, clasping your wrists together, and stretching your arms on the floor. Deep breathing in here, inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths in, 
and out. And let's get in. And out. Gently. Bring your palms back to your lower back. Walking your toes. And then slowly bending your knees and very gently and carefully lowering your back by placing your palms first on the mat. And then slowly, slowly vertebra by vertebra coming back down to the mat. From here, straightening your legs, pointing your toes, straightening your arms, so your legs together, palms close to the body. And just placing your palms a little bit underneath your glutes and squeezing your elbows close to each other. We will go to the fish pose, so from here, inhale, open with your chest and placing very top of the head down on the mat. Without changing position of your elbows. Same here, three breaths. Inhale, open in your chest. Exhale, keeping your toes pointed. Two more breaths in. And out. And last week, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, looking up, and exhale, releasing down. One more time, just gently bending your legs and doing a little massage to yourself. And now lowering your legs down. The final relaxation, Shavasana. So in this pose, I want you to completely relax, to release all the tensions, and to take this rest for yourself. So opening your legs to the sides, allowing them to collapse gently. Opening your eyes with the palms facing up. And just closing your eyes in here. Making any adjustment you need with your body. And then finding stillness. Deep inhale. And exhale out of your mouth. Releasing any tension. Let's do it two more times. Deep inhale. And exhale with the sound. Sound of release, of letting go. Last inhale. And complete exhale. Allowing all your body to simply melt down to the mat down to the floor by releasing any heaviness, any tension, any stress, and taking a full, well-deserved rest. Congratulating yourself for a good work which you just did, for the beautiful practice. Wherever you were today, just acknowledging your successes, small and big ones. Appreciating yourself for taking care of your body, your mind. And now finding your stillness and your silence in here, just for a moment. And now slowly bringing awareness back to your body. Feeling every part of your body which is touching the floor.
You need every part of your body in contact with the air. Becoming aware of the space around you. Hearing all the sounds. Taking a deep breath in. Breathing out. Gently moving your fingers and your toes. Rolling your head side to side. And then stretching your body in any way you feel like. And releasing, bending your knees and placing your feet on the floor. And then slowly rolling to any side of your body. Taking a little moment, laying on the side. Whenever you are ready, slowly making your way up to seat it. Keep your eyes closed. Sitting upright, with inhalation, bringing awareness to your spine, lengthening it, straightening, and with exhalation, releasing any tensions from your body. Deep inhale. Complete exhale. And one more deep inhale. And complete exhale. Bringing your palms together in front of your heart center. Taking a little moment to fulfill yourself with the gratitude for everything what is, for your practice, for your body, for your mind. For every small and big thing in your life which you may take for granted. And just fulfill ourselves with gratitude and appreciation. Gently rubbing your palms, rolling them up. And then placing them on your two closed eyes. Taking inhale. And exhale, gently opening your eyes inside of your palms, reaching for your body. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoy the practice and that you will practice more. Namaste.